So, because of course, what 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 the, what the, we have, we, what we can know is of course that quality is as is a matter of of security. We need quality to for the ability to navigate in the world. It's a it's a ways of of measuring situations or the given us the opportunity to talk about things. So quality is an organization that is that is both produced by us and is at the same time producing us. And there is no center, so there is no, there is nowhere we can call and say, Mr. Prime Minister of of of, cult, of quality, it's time to change. No, he doesn't really. Uh, he has he has this kind of well uh, uh, something you know we have uh, six thousand people before you, uh, like Scott the Valkyrie before them ten years ago or something. Anyway, um, so. So uh, quality is a way of, is a, is a matter of producing, is, a, is an opportunity for us to feel secure. And of course it's always also a matter of power. For those that have, that can license quality, they are of course not interested in having it deterritorialized. And for us, or for those that are not inscribed in what is quality, we of course want to transform paradigms. And on the outside, we have our voices are very small, so it doesn't happen. As you know, Lori Anderson said somewhere in 1976 that the revolution from the outside is just not happening. So I have to start, even if I don't know technology at all, I have to use a toaster in my performances to be able to introduce myself into a landscape of some kind. So I think actually the Prime Minister of Quality is calling. <laughs> uh, I missed it. <laughs> oh well. There was a news magazine person from London, so exactly these people that produce quality, right? Or produce notions of quality. And are absolutely very blah 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 ish and unfocused in what notions of, 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 of quality or how I can think about quality. But I'm sure there will be people later on that will speak about this from a more academically correct amundo sort of perspective. But the happy thing, however, is of course that, that, that quality is performative, that is continuously changing. So the only thing that we can, so, they, so the, what we can definitely know, that it is no static inequality. So whatever we do, we cannot sort of rely on its quality, or there is no eternal values, whatever, right? So the, the good thing is that we can always only insist on continuing doing what we are unable to do continuing to insist on not saying, yeah, that's a good idea. Or, you know, people that say, after a rehearsal, when you, if you show somebody part of the work or whatever, and the person sits and says, yeah, it works. That's, of course, the moment where you say, fuck me, this is the time where we have to start to work, where we have to go labor. Because if it works, it's inside. It's quality, and it is conventional. The one that says, well, it's a matter of keep it simple. No fuck way. It's a matter exactly of the other one. When we keep it simple, we keep it in the ways that we are, that we, that is already navi navigated, that where we can always already orient it. So keep it simple, no way. What we want to do is, of course, to complexify. We can never jump outside the notion's quality, but we can complexify their understanding. And in this, com act, in this act of complexification, that's where quality sooner or later will differentiate. So of course, just because uh, for, uh, quality is a performative, it doesn't say that we can do whatever we want, because everything is, all notions are already scripted, but it's at least it's worthwhile telling. And what is so fantastic is actually that these people that are here, I see very little producers, not very good. I see a lot of makers, I see a lot of people that are actively engaged in, in, in producing in, uh, in our case, dance and possibly visual art and whatever, and that's and those producers that are here, they are also fantastic to have, like Eva, for example, yeah. which is not just eminent as a producer but also absolutely fab in those orange ones. So <laughs> just to describe her in quality at the end. Then. But um, so what is so great is that we have actually ventured all the way out here to decide to to, to have a conversation and discuss. How, how can these differentiations happen? They will, of course, not happen. But that that we discussed them is already, it's happening. 
So this is just fucking sparkling. And what we should also know is that the ways that the, the ways that there is, as we know, there is since a couple of years, there is a fabulous focus on internationalization and imbalance. And this is an interesting situation of how do we deal with these situations? How do we deal with the fact that there are more money or more opportunities to go international? And I've been thinking about it in the sense that what we of course should not do is to try to go on tour. That is the least we should do. Because that's super simple. And it doesn't generate conversation. We go, we set up, we perform, we maybe have a dinner with the director of the festival, but usually he has to catch an early train because he didn't think the opponent was so good. So we end up speaking with technicians and with each other. And that's only for one evening. Wow. Is that meaning that I should stop? Well, if you want. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, but so, I, so what, is, what is interesting with this situation now is that it is an opening to venture out for experimentation, for research, for rehearsing, for hanging out, and for, for having a lot of home la and uh, all these things <laughs> with all these people out there. Because what, what, could, what, uh, what the council have done, or what, the, what the ministry have done with this act, is to open for opportunities of doing what we can't. So, as, uh, as a, in a slightly, I would somehow, what we need to do, of course, is to consider that there are, there are entities that are licensing what is understood as quality in dance. And one of them, and, and these centers of power, these, of course, we have to, we have to engage in and through them in a, in a proactive, yet in a proactive way, which is not critical, but is producing criticality. So that we have to constantly be in conversation with all these or orientations, such as the council, such as the, as the dance and service, such as also the ballet, and so on and so on, right? Because only through conversation can we actually transform something. And, and of course, it might seem slightly, the wind is blowing quite strongly from in the front. But, uh, but uh, I think at the moment there is a, what makes me want to come back to Sweden after 10 years more or less internationally is that there are great opportunities in, in our landscape at the moment. And I think that, that what is most of all fantastic is that, that orientations of people like Praxis and us, we have decided to not rehearse today, but to come to this meeting in order to change the world. And that is as fast. Uh, and then, of course, Impex. Uh, the DIY Festival, Impex is a little organization known as International Performance Exchange that was initiated by Constance Lenden and somehow uh, my position, uh, they asked me if I could sort of set up the organization. But it has most of all been run by 10 younger practitioners in whatever, and we said we have, a, we have an amount of money and we decided let's use them in whatever way we want except we don't go on tour. But uh, Anders is <coughs> one of the Impex people. If he goes to Paris, all the other nine people say, meet these nine, meet these people in Paris. So it's a way of, of becoming many, many voices. Because this is what, we, what, what is problematic, as I see with dance info and so and so, is that it produces one voice. We have to take very good care so that we don't become homogenous. And that so that the, the other side, whatever they are called, that they cannot identify us as one thing. If we are identified, then we lose power. So we all have to talk conti continuously. So please don't elect some, let's not elect somebody like me that stands here and talk for, for, for too long. But sort of the impact idea was to spread out and become slightly almost invisible or to dress up a little bit differently. 